Greetings and welcome to SmartwatchTix.com. It was four years ago, September 2018, when Apple introduced us to an amazing feature on their watches. The ability to send your heart rate to another Apple smartwatch wearer and they could not only see the pulsing heart on their, um, their watch screen, but they could feel the vibration of your heart on their arm. Apollo Neuroscience has taken that little fun concept and created a little Pandora's box. And I do mean that. This little box in here, this Apollo device that you're about to see, is vibration-based. We'll go over all of the parts and pieces here in a moment, but let me show it to you. It is a little thing with a slight curvature, perfectly made to rest against your body. And inside of here is the electronics and the software to induce a vibrational frequency into your bones. Yes, where can you get this puppy? Directly from the Apollo Neuroscience website. And you watching this video know that you can get 10% off of your purchase as well with our discount code TIX for Mr. TIX, right? Check out this link, bit.ly slash Apollo 10 off with a capital Apollo. That will take you to the website where that 10% discount can be applied. It takes that idea of the yummy feeling you got when your lover, your best friend, your wife, your husband, your kids sent their heart rate to you and creates specialized programs, vibration-based, that will come out of this machine when it's attached to your body to induce a sense of relaxation, of calmness, a sense of sleeping capability, a sense of waking up in the morning. There's all kinds of programs. You'll see those in the app. Now inside the box, we've got a few more goodies. There's this little clip that you'll be uh, shown later on how you attach this to the device and you can literally wear it on your body by clipping it at different places. You also have inside of here a strap. If you don't want to use the clip, you can actually put the device on this strap and wear it like you would a watch right on your wrist if you want to or on your ankle if you want to. All kinds of combinations. And then there's a charging wire, and that's what that little card was for. You'll notice this is a specialized charging wire. It's extra thick and braided. It uses a standard USB to micro USB, and you simply plug it in here and charge it. This little box affects your nervous system. That's the whole intent, and through the nervous system can modify the way your physiology, your biophysiology reacts and responds to external stress or effects in the environment. In a crazy way, it's like a hug. You know, if you're uncomfortable, nervous, and you sit down, if you're a cat person, you pick up your kitty cat, put it on your lap and just start petting it and you get that, that purr happening, that calming feeling that comes over you is a, in a sense, a neurophysiological change in your body resulting from the connection with your pet or your partner or your child or yourself. Any which way you look at it, there's a vibrational component there that could actually uh, help you downgrade your stress. Same kind of thing applies when you sleep. Now, I don't know if I'm dating myself uh, here, but I remember driving Route 66 back in the 1950s, was it? 60s? Anyway, you go to a motel and they had a Vibra bed. You remember that? A little box on the side, you put two quarters in, then it went up to four quarters. You needed a whole buck. You press a button and the whole darn bed would start vibrating. You climb in it and you would just relax away into sleep. Yeah, I think this technology was, was being tested out then without all the neuroscience behind it. Anyway, what the company would like you to know beyond just the tagline is that you're really looking at a wearable hug in this thing. It's a hug for your not-so-nervous system, right? 
It provides scientifically proven touch therapy that you can wear as a band around your ankle, wear it on your wrist, clip it attached to your clothing, and you're going to see all of that in a bit. The Apollo device silently, soothingly vibrates and speaks to your nervous system, telling you, now this is the important part, that you're safe and in control, okay? It's dealing with that fight or flight response that we all have in us that generates that adrenaline and gets us all scared and hyped and and anxious. And uh, this can have a neutralizing effect on that. Again, disclaimer at the bottom, not medically proven, not tested or certified by the FDA, but it is something that neuroscientists and physicians have been working on for quite a while. So rather tracking, rather than tracking your biometrics with displays and telling you your heart rate variability or your blood oxygen content or any of that, it's actually affecting it. And the way you'll know results of the activity is after you've used it for a while. And that's where consistency is key. If you get this thing and you try it out and you're serious about it, you use the different programs, and we'll tell you about that in just a moment, you got a good chance of conditioning your nervous system, altering your body's biofeedback mechanism, and rearranging the way you actually respond to the world and help you overall achieve a deeper state of relaxation and focus and sleep and so forth. Comes out of the laboratory. There's an amazing doctor that uh, has a PhD and is a medical neuroscientist, I believe. And uh, there's a whole board of people that he works with that have been doing this. In fact, these guys are tied in with the Aura Ring. Yeah, you've seen my... We reviewed this one, the original 2, version 2, a long, long time ago. It came up with level 3. I got reviews on the Aura Ring out there, and this is phenomenal. You want something that'll give you all kinds of measurements, including your temperature at night, these Aura Rings do that. Well, they can transmit that data through a combination relationship with Apollo Neuro to give you what you need for the overall contouring of this device for your body. So check that out for sure too. Aura and Apollo are partnered together in this whole endeavor. When you go to the Google Play Store, you can download the Apollo Neuro app or just click on the link in the show notes. I always put the tethering app in there. Simple little thing to install, very easy to set up. Once you've got it set up and basically you press the two buttons, make sure you're in Bluetooth, follow the online guidance, and you'll get uh, tethered. Once you are, then it'll always connect as long as this is turned on and you're within range when you launch the app. You only need the app to get yourself started with this because whatever program, and there's seven of them in here that you choose, will remain in here. It kind of transmits the program into the box and you can press and hold the two buttons for just a second and it'll start your last program over from the beginning at the... um, the intensity level that you've set, and that's another important aspect of this I want to tell you about. But first, let's look at them. They are from most impactful down to relaxation and sleep, and they go all the way down. Your energy and wake up is like a bugle blowing in the morning. Da 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 da. Well, you know, in vibrational sense. That's the other beautiful thing about this is it's kind of an integration of music and touch together, which are two ways of reaching your nervous system directly. When you listen to cool music you love or active music or relaxation music, you know, the vibrations will help steer your mood. It gives you the opportunity to float into that mood that the music can generate. That's why we listen to the radio and like the songs we hear. Part of it. So this does the same basic thing. It's almost like a little speaker that's only playing the bass, right? When you put this against your body and induce the vibrations through your skin into your bone, affecting your nerves, they will be um, um, affected by different frequencies and waves and patterns of information. You're going to hear this in a minute. I'm going to try to set it up so you can kind of hear it on your own. Uh, hear it and feel it, but you'll hear it because it'll be coming through your speaker. Anyway, energy and wake up is really active. It's like a a, a shot of caffeine in the morning, but without the after effects of uh, caffeine. 
Social and open is a little less than that, but it's getting you going. It's a great thing like when you're moving on to get to work, to start your day, to hang with people and talk story and get settled and and open up to the day, right? Clear and focused, a little less aggressive overall in terms of its energy pattern, is going to stay focused on what you're doing. So if you really need to be tuned into what you're working on uh, and stay on it, clear and focus helps you do that. Rebuild and recover. That's an interesting one. And this is where you can um, find that balance. And it's a good one after you've had a stressful activity that you've been engaged in and you decide, I need to kind of take a break. You can do that with rebuild and recover without losing momentum, if you know what I mean. It's not like tuning out for the day, but you're taking that uh, 10-minute coffee break without the coffee to rebuild and recover yourself back again. Meditation and mindfulness is just what it sounds like. Those of you who practice that, that's great. This is helping you in a vibrational sense to align your nervous system to the feeling that you get when you meditate or when you just relax and do the biofeedback breathing exercises that come with mindfulness practices. The nice thing is you can just kind of do this. Now, I wouldn't say you want to get out there and be driving a NASCAR or something and doing meditation with your device. Be in the in the environment and the mood set to uh, to allow that to happen, but this will help encourage it as, as if you were putting on meditative background music. It's part of the ambiance directly into your bones. Relax and unwind now. That's great for the end of the day. Pretty much when you're ready to settle down, you know, a lot of people will drink a glass of wine or something and un- unwind through alcohol. This is a substitute that's non-invasive that allows you to just literally unwind and, and calm down. And then as you're ready to go to bed, some people play that just before going to bed. When you are in bed or just as you're ready to go to bed, if you don't want to wear it to bed, you can boot, uh, run the sleep and renew. Oftentimes you run these a little longer. That can be a half hour to an hour. This puppy, five minutes and that's you're, you're good to go. That's a shot, man. This one you want to like let it go for a while. And wearing it to bed and using it during the night helps to entrain your overall nervous system to the concept. This is a new concept for your body to receive these vibrations into, you know, like your ankle. Good place to wear it at your ankle because, you know, tossing and turning, you might notice it on your wrist or something. Um, but you can wear it wherever you like. Uh, clip it on your belt if you're wearing clothes to bed that you can clip it onto. Um, and uh, just run the program and do it consistently. That's the beauty of all this. Do it consistently. So you have all these different kind of programs as you need them through the day. You've got your evening time ones, and they're all selectable down here. So let's do a little practice session. I got it set for energy and wake up, and I'm 44 seconds into it. I tested this out on the machine uh, that I'm recording with, the phone, to see if I could actually get this to go. So if I hit play, now I'm feeling it vibrate. I'm going to set it on the camera and see if you can, quote, quote, hear the vibrations. You ready? Uh, let, let me actually get it into here. I want to be in the program because I want to show you. I'm at about 30%, and I'm just going to set it here and let it vibrate. Now, I'm actually seeing it move across the glass of the of the phone. I hope you're hearing it. I'm going to crank it up. Now, this may be very annoying because, one, it's energy and wake up. Bah, 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 bah. And it's hopefully kind of loud like this. 100%. You getting that? You see, you can live adjust it while you're here. And the intent is you're going to start your program, put it on wherever you, you're, you're wearing it, and then modify it until you're just able to sense the vibration. That's the sweet spot that after you get accustomed to it, you'll forget it's on. You won't be noticing it, and it'll be doing its thing in the background. A lot like that elevator music they play when you're in a in an elevator and on an escalator at the department store, right? You notice there's music when you walk in. You notice the smell of the air when you walk in. But after you start shopping, you don't even notice that anymore. This vibrational technology can be 
in that same way in helping you to relax and unwind, to recalibrate your nervous system, and to de-stress overall by just being a basically non-invasive, non-awareness activity that you are selecting what it is that you need for your body at that particular time. Really, really sweet concept. Now, let's take a little bit of time to discuss how you wear this thing. It comes with two different uh, attachments, a little clip and uh, a band. And there's a longer band available from the company as well. Now, again, the device wants to be against your body on this smooth side here. And it's going to need to be near bones because it's going to do its magic by inducing the vibration into your bones and your nervous system. So let's talk about the clip first. It's really easy. You just simply slide it in. And how do I do this? No. Yeah. There, okay, it's got to go along with the curvature. I like to mess around with it so you can see all the wrong ways to do things first, right? So here you go. You've got a nice little clip, and this can clip on your shirt or on your sock or a place I particularly like to do it is on my pants. Now, if you know and understand some about anatomy and physiology, uh, your nervous system uh, runs significantly up and down your spine. So possibly clipped on the back of your neck is one of the places I like it with this surface against your body. And that'll vibrate into your upper um, part of your your shoulder area in, in, right in between your neck there. Uh, the other one is to clip it either to your pants or your undies on the inside and let it sit against your sacrum. I find that incredibly potent. That is really, really a strong place to send the vibration in. And I can tune the frequency down really, really low, like 10% or so. So it's at that threshold of even noticing it. But the vibration is going directly into uh, the bones and the nerves right there. And I've felt significant uh, effects from that particular position. But this is a clip-on. Now, one of the drawbacks, a big one for me, is I forget I have it on. And, well, let's say I got awful close to dropping it in water when I went to the bathroom a couple of times, having it fall off, fortunately, on the floor. Ha! <sighs> so if you use the clip, and depending on where you put it, be careful it doesn't fall off. If you have it on your belt uh, side of your body, and you get in and out of the car, it might push itself up. I had it fall out in the car, and I found it near the seatbelt area. You don't want to lose this, and it doesn't vibrate in terms of making noise to let you know it's lost. So if you use the clip, make sure you remember you have it on. Because of that, then, an alternative use might be to um, take the band and put the band on. Now, the band is simple. Now, it also depends on whether you have it with the buttons on the left or the right, although that's not as important as getting it in the right position. Slide it through here and then tighten it up. And for my particular wrist, to get it in the correct position, it lies a little bit right on top of here. But that's why they made those cutouts, so that it'll stick nicely right in there. There you go. Now... This is the wristband, and if you want to <clears throat> do it on your ankle, there's a bigger band you may need to get, because Uncle Tix has found, if I put this on, I go like this, and to get to the Velcro, it's going to be pretty constrictive, but a lot of people like to wear it on the ankle. So you may need a, uh, a bit longer band to do that, depending on the size of your ankle. But this should work fine for the wrist and, of course, for the clip. But wait, there's some more options if you're willing to look beyond the box. I mean, beyond this box. Well, here's a fun little story for you. I was over at Ace today, and I had one of those $5 coupon things, you know, the cards they send you for being a good customer, and it was expiring today. $5. I've been thinking about this guy and like, how could I partner this together with a smartwatch like the HD 11? I mean, they're almost the same size. 
Why wear this by itself when possibly you could wear them together? $7.50, I had a $5 coupon. I looked at it, it says it's Velcro, adjustable, wraps onto itself, and you can cut it to length. Look, you can just loop it around like your arm. So what the heck? I spent my five bucks and we're gonna find out if that was a good expenditure. Here we go. I come back here, I do this, and I do this, and whoa, I flip this thing over. Okay, come on you. Let's get it a little bit longer. And theoretically now, if I cut this just right, I'll be able to attach that to there at just about right here. I'm guessing it could be off. I could do it again. Cut the scissors or use the scissors to cut the band. That's sliding over from the side. Are we ready? I want this on the inside. I want this on the outside. You're seeing it first. This is like reality TV. I'm going to attach it. I made it a little longer, just in case. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's going to work. And it's not that unattractive of a band. There we go. We have just now converted an amazing piece of equipment to, to do all the things we've told you about with a smartwatch. Well, it's upside down. Okay, okay, okay. I, I'll fix it, but I, <laughs> I just got excited to try it out. Wow, that is going to be really, really cool. Yeah, wow. Okay, now I can wear it anytime I want right here on my wrist. Use the app, program it to do whatever I want. Touch the two buttons at the same time and let go to turn it on and begin the program that I had on the last time without even needing to be connected to the phone and at the same time have my smartwatch going. You know, Mrs. Tick said to me, you are like a kid on Christmas every day of the year. And she's right. These things come in all the time and I get the opportunity to play with each and every one of them. Here we are again with the HD 11. Oh, there's the Alpha Neuro now. Look, I've even got it set so it's slightly slanted toward me. Easier to see when I raise my wrist. Same little Velcro strap. It's just barely connecting right now, whereas it overlapped a little bit more. And I could make a bunch more of these. Four feet for $7.50. Amazing. This I really like because it's just kind of like a thick watch. Um, it works. I got the twist your wrist when it's turned on. There we go. And yeah, I can use it with basically any smartwatch. This is an easy way of doing it. You just simply loop it through and then pass it through and then loop it back again. And here we go with the, um, how would you say, the matted look this way. If I put it through the other way, it would fit around and can stick to itself with the shiny look. So you could have the belt loop that way as well. Of course, you have to reverse these things completely. But wow, we have now got a Neuro, uh, an Alpha, <laughs> an Apollo, Apollo Neuro. I'm just so excited. Apollo Neuro smartwatch in three different combinations you've seen today and more with your imagination applied to it as well. Cool. Ta-da! Yeah, a glove. You know, one of those sports gloves, workout kind of gloves. Take your device, no clip, no belt. You can loosen it up. You can slide and turn it on, get it, get it doing its thing, get and start a program, slide it into your palm. There you go. You can walk around with it that way. Don't grab anything and crush it, of course. I've tried sleeping with it like this. I like that for a couple of reasons. One, the glove tends to keep my fingers more open. I sometimes clench my fists at night and it's not as easy to do. So the, the fingers are open. I'll wear both of them if I want to. Uh, but this thing vibrating in your palm is incredible. That's another amazing place to practice and use this uh, device. So what do I really think about this thing? Well, I'm actually really surprised. I didn't have a lot of high hopes for it. I thought it might have been a bunch of hype. I'm still not totally convinced, but one of two things is definitely happening. When I wear it, I feel something. And I'm either 
having a placebo effect because I want to feel something, or the dang thing's really working and I'm feeling it anyway. I don't really care which is happening (laughs) as long as it's working. It really does. It helps me get up in the morning. I'm slow to wake up. I am. I usually down a couple of cups of coffee and I go, in five minutes with this thing on, all of a sudden I'm way more awake than I used to be. So it seems to work for me, but I don't know. Would it work for you? What kind of research have these guys done on it? How do they know that it'll really work. Well, here is an excerpt from uh, Entrepreneur Magazine where an article was done on these guys. And this particular paragraph caught my eye. It basically talks about what they have done in, uh, in regards to clinical trials. The answer, does it work? Yes. Yep, in a double-blind clinical trial. Those are hard to set up. Not only do the people getting the vibration not know if it's the thing or not, but the people doing it don't know. It'd be real interesting to read how they set that up. Anyway, the double-blind clinical trial showed a 25% improvement in cognitive performance among those that were using the Apollo and improved their heart rate variability two to three times their average rates within just three minutes. Now, HRV is what we use to measure stress. That's kind of the gold standard to see how stressed out you are. And we've shown you wearables that you uh, literally can get a number and it will tell you how stressed you are and even set thresholds and vibrate if you're really stressed out, right? This device is showing an improvement in the cognitive performance and HRV reducing stress. A second study on a group of children suffering from ADHD, autism, and anxiety. The kids were wearing the Apollo. They engaged more during their therapy sessions and afterwards, and their anxiety scores were cut in half as well. In another two-week study at a long-term skilled nursing facility, now nurses who are engaged in COVID and working long and hard hours, you know that's a stressful environment. The Apollo helped them see a 40% reduction in their overall stress. Wow. In hundreds of cases and studies at an ongoing University of Pittsburgh uh, clinical trial with PTSD, get this, have seen over 90% of subjects reporting reduced feelings of hypervigilance and a boost in their calm, mood, and attention within just two weeks of using Apollo. And it's continued over time and is still under study. So gang, this is not just some cooked up thing in the backyard. It does have some validated testing. I'll have links in the show notes. You can go as deep down the rabbit hole as you want to to study up on it. So let me leave you with this. For those of you who are interested in buying this puppy from Amazon, you can head over and pick up a whole package of 32 pieces of reusable fastening cable straps that have a loop and a hook on them. Pick out a 12-inch one. Looks like this. And pay attention to the end here because after you size it, to exactly the configuration you want, which I'm about to show you, you'll come back and you'll trim off the end to fit really nicely around your wrist. Take your Apollo Nero with the buttons facing out and you slide it all the way in like that. Then you take your smartwatch of choice. I've got an NY28 here. We reviewed this one. I love it because it's got the always on screen. I'm going to make sure that I put this one opposite this like so and I'm going to feed it through this way and this way put this on the soft underbelly side I wrap this around I can bring this through and I can slide it in now that it's been cut it's easy to grab a hold of loop it through tap it down adjust it just the way I want it. Got my buttons on the outside, everything ready to go. And that, folks, is how I wear my Apollo Neuro smartwatch combination. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you guys for watching. This is really a fun video to put together. I had to learn a lot for this one. We'll see you again soon.